Other queen will lay a fertilized egg into a cell specifically designed for a queen to grow. Now a queen bee starts out as a, as a fertilized egg just like any other worker bee. However, after it hatches from the egg and it becomes a larva, it's fed a different mixture of, of honey and pollen called, uh, called royal jelly. And with royal jelly, what that does is it allows it, as it's developing, to, to grow and produce the necessary organs so that it can mate and, and lay fertilized eggs and become fertilized. And so it will, it's basically like an adult female versus the worker bees almost being like little girls. They're not quite developed in that way. They cannot mate. Um, they cannot be fertilized. And so they're still almost like children. Whereas the queen is a, is a grown, full, uh, adult uh, female bee. And so the queen, after it hatches from its queen cell, um, through the development process from egg to adult queen is 14 days, so it's only two weeks. And once it hatches from the queen cell, it is now a full adult and it's ready to mate. And the queen will go, oh, she's gone to the other side now, I believe. There she is. The queen will go on a flight with about a dozen other drones, and she will mate with all those drones, after which she is now mated for life and she'll never need to mate again. Where did she go? Back to the other side? Yeah, there she is. Up by my thumb. Right here. So after she mates with those dozen to fifteen drones, and those drones can be from any type of breed, uh, it doesn't really matter. She's now mated for life, she'll never mate again, and she just stores all of the, the sperm within her body, and she can then use that to, to lay fertilized eggs throughout the entirety of her life. And a queen bee can live several years, four or five years, um, however, her, her, uh, she becomes less, I don't know what's the word, fertile. less fertile, uh, less productive yeah. as she ages. With each year she gets less and less productive until she's, uh, until she's too old to be productive queen. And then, uh, either the bees will replace her by superseding or, or, uh, the beekeeper can come in and replace the queen. So she's right there still, just going around, and she'll lay two to, uh, you know, one to two thousand eggs per day during the summer, um, and then during the winter she won't. She'll just uh, stay dormant. The queen bee never leaves the hive unless there's a swarm, um, and so whenever she needs to eat, the nurse bees will feed her. Whenever she needs to needs to relieve herself, the nurse bees will take that and remove it from the hive as well manually. So she'll stay in the hive throughout her life, unless of course there's a swarm, in which case she will leave with half of the worker bees and the other half will stay with the new queen. We'll talk more about swarming another time, but that's the life cycle of a queen bee.